Unlike the EC2 instance and security group, security group asks or allows an IP range to talk to the EC2 instance, but NACL denies an IP range range to touch even the subnet before it enters. Once that layer of security is done, then we enter the subnet. Subnet is the subnetwork of an overall VPC. When we talk about 10.0.0.0 slash 16, subnet 1 and subnet 2 would have the small range within that. So I can say it will have 10.0.1.0 slash 24 because 24 is lesser than 16. 10 O dot two dot o slash twenty four one two defines the IP range sorry one and two defined the subnet range however slash twenty four define the range of IP address that means it is a thirty two bit so two raised to thirty two minus twenty four which is eight so two raised to zero to two raised to eight would be the range of IP addresses within subnet one and sub now that is the core architecture of virtual private cloud. Now what are we going to do? We are going to build these components. We are going to build a private cloud. We are going to build an internet gateway, route table, NACL and subnets and then have the connectivity and test whether the VPC is working fine or not. Coming back to the AWS console, we would be clicking on VPC. So by default, when we create this AWS console, one default VPC is created for us. Just a second, seems one. One default VPC is created for us because AWS wants you not to get confused in the initial or inception learning of your AWS. This VPC allows you to create the services that you have been creating till now, but now we would be creating our own VPC, another VPC, rather we are creating another data center. Click on create VPC, write the name of VPC as my VPC. You can write any other name as well. You have to define the IP range. That's the IP range I've defined. There seems to be a mistake. Okay. So let's create the VPC. And the VPC has been created. Pretty simple. Now, this VPC needs to have an internet gateway connected to it. So let's create an internet gateway. We'll just click here and then create internet gateway. Write the name My Internet. Gateway and then create it. Another service got created internet gateway. It's in detached state. We'll attach it to the running VPC. Attach to VPC and we have uh, VPC created here. Attach it. The internet gateway is created. Now we'll come back to route tables. Whenever you create a VPC by default, a route table is already created for that. If you wish, you can create another route table as well. Let's create another route table. We'll give the name as my route table. This route table is getting created for the new VPC. Select that and create it. Now this route table needs to be set as main route table because there was already one route table created. Now we need to click on NACL that is network access control list similar to your route table there is NACL also created by default if you wish you can create a new one you can write my NACL select the VPC for which it is getting created and create it So my NACL is created, my route table is created, my internet gateway is created. Everyone has been connected to the VPC. What else?